My name's Craig Gamble. I'm the site manager here at our Plaswood business. We've been recycling here now for 22 years. We were quite a pioneer in terms of realising that plastic needed recycling and so we decided to build a dedicated plant. So we take deliveries of plastic from all over the UK. The first process that we put through is a shredding process to allow us to easily wash them better. And then it goes through a variety of different washing processes. We have centrifugal washing machines, stirrer tanks, washing tanks. We eventually end up with a, a clean plastic. The plastic is melted under a temperature and pressure so that it becomes a, a molten, of which we then put through our extruders, which is a melting process. This allows us then to manipulate it into our various products. People are now starting to appreciate that recycled plastic has a separate use. We couldn't live our modern world these days without plastics. If we were to look around the room that we're in now or just looking outside, there is plastic everywhere. There's a perception out there that perhaps people don't realise that plastic can be recycled, but every plastic can be recycled. It's, it's fully recyclable. The particular product that we make, Plaswood, allows a slightly more contaminated plastic to have a use. The advantages of our vast, it's a long-lasting durable material that's waterproof, doesn't need maintenance particularly, and at the end of its life, we're happy to take that back and recycle it as well. The fact that we're getting involved with this boat project is an ideal tool to be able to educate everybody, and young people especially, of what can happen to recycled plastic. The PET in, from the bottles is, is going to help to make the plaswood stiffer. We use the fact that plastic floats to be able to, to clean the dirt off the plastic. The dirt sinks, the plastic floats. It's good that we've got a, a master boat builder involved with it because it will be a case of making sure it does remain afloat, so that it is buoyant, so it is properly sealed as well. So that's the experts going to figure that one out. We've been involved with plastic boats for kids' playgrounds and stuff, but never one that's going to go on the water. So yeah, a big project like this will show the, the huge potential of what can be done. And it will also remind people that OK, if we can make a boat out, we can do a lot of these smaller things as well, including making picnic tables or walkways or, or decking, or even going back into some of the original products that they were used for. That's, that's the ideal. This is going to be something that's going to stick in people's heads. This bottle has made this boat. Sometimes recycling isn't, it isn't the most glamorous of, of industries to be involved in, but yeah, hopefully, bottle, boat will be, yeah, that's fantastic. I'm going to recycle that bottle. Mm -hmm.